How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be explaining how I completed the third inning program so fast. So let's go ahead and get into it. So as you can see, I have unlocked the third inning boss choice pack. I have selected Grady Sizemore simply because he was going for the most stubs at the time. But I wanted to explain exactly how people are able to earn the boss pack so quickly and talk a little bit about the method I used in order to earn the boss pack uh, fairly quickly, right? Not necessarily right when it came out. I didn't have everything ready, but the way you do this is by going into the ball player mode, okay? So what I've done is set up a brand new road to the show. I've downloaded a roster that gives me all 99 overalls on the Colorado Rockies. And I'm basically going to simulate a bunch of road to the show games in order to earn a ton of XP. And then that's going to allow me to unlock the third inning boss very quickly along with a bunch of other rewards. So I've simply showed you how to select the Rockies as your team and if you download a roster with all 99 overall players on the Rockies then everybody else will have one overall players. Once you've kind of simulated a few games you will get an opportunity to select if you want to be a two-way ball player, to select if you want to just focus on pitching or playing a position. All right, so I have made a video talking about how I created Pablo Sanchez, but I didn't really include the customization behind it. I didn't spend too much time customizing Pablo Sanchez looks or anything like that, but I might as well take you through the customization process just so that way if you want to create the same exact creative player as me, you certainly can do that. Um, I'm sure if you put some more time into this customization, you can make your character look a little bit more like Pablo Sanchez than from what my player looks like. But anyway, um, this is how I was able to finish off the entire program. I grinded about five created players or five different builds, and I mainly focused on the pitching side because I have already completed or maxed out my created player on the offensive side of things. I figured now would be the best time to try and grind for a pitcher. I, I do want to try out you know, a left-handed version of Pedro Martinez, I completed the Pedro archetype and once you max out the base attributes for these created players then essentially you will be able to uh, you know swap out your builds and create all kinds of different players both you know right-handed hitters left-handed hitters switch hitters uh, right-handed first baseman left-handed shortstops any any kind of build you want to do but I thought that this celebration was pretty interesting so I went ahead and went with it but We'll go ahead and explain exactly uh, which builds I was able to successfully grind. Here we have the Pedro build. I also completed um, the Houdini build in terms of maxing out the diamond uh, program. These programs give you a lot of XP, uh, 5,000, 11,000, uh, multiple times throughout the program. And that's how I was able to earn you know, 370,000 XP in a matter of a day. I was just hanging out with some family, watching some TV shows, simulating road to the show and uh, just talking about all kinds of stuff talking about life talking about what's going on in the world and then of course you know just grinding the third inning program so that's how i was able to complete it so quickly uh, this is my equipment on my pitcher it's slightly different from the equipment that i would use for a position player i have recently tried my catcher or used a creative player at catcher so i figured i would go ahead and buy the best catching equipment to go along with it but I completed the Professor, Pedro, the Houdini, Billy the Kid, and I unlocked those four diamond badges. I also completed some progress, of course, towards you know the bronze, silver, gold, building up those archetypes in different ways. And a lot of other people are doing this as well. I've seen you know a handful of people on my friends list completing a variety of these programs. And you might have saw some notifications from me completing these programs. I was up you know all night. I was up early. Uh, this morning playing this finishing this program off trying to earn as many stubs as I could from those third inning bosses right I'm just gonna sell the reward I know that those cards are gonna drop in price over time and if I sell the reward now I might be able to buy all three of those bosses for the amount that I sold the one boss for okay so I'm kind of just taking you through you know as you get into road to the show you're simulating through these games it doesn't really take too long uh, if you are using a pitcher you know you'll skip through every four games or so and then you'll have your you know your fifth day will be your start um, depending on if you're a reliever or not with that said uh, the pitching is very easy to level up your player you can also level up your hitting attributes 
as a pitcher at the same time. Um, but really, it takes a long time to upgrade each individual pitch, right? Of course, if you have five pitches going into these bullpen sessions, as you can see, though, I have maxed out all my pitches. The only thing left I can do is either swap out a pitch in my repertoire or uh, you know, work on bunting, which is still effective because this not only grinds bunting attributes for your pitcher, but also your position player. So that's kind of cool to see. Uh, I really like the way the ball player is utilized in MLB The Show this year. Um, here we have a bunch of packs. We have a bunch of perks to open. Uh, by completing this, you earn you know gold perks, diamond perks, silver perks, equipment items, uh, diamond equipment items. You can make a lot of stubs by doing this. As you can see, you know I'm at like 980,000. I have already sold the reward at the time that I am recording this pack opening. Um, but nonetheless, I was able to at least make about 250,000 stubs just from grinding these programs. Probably 100,000 from uh, these perks and everything. The program itself, the XP, the packs that came along with it. Uh, probably 100,000 stubs. And then, of course, a uh, 150,000 from the boss. That's what they're currently going for. I sold mine for around, I don't know, 140, 135,000. Not bad. Uh, but these diamond equipment items, right? I've already bought the ones I need for my creative player. So all these are just profit. I'll go ahead and take this catcher's mask. That one will probably sell pretty quickly. But as you can see, right, we have the creative player maxed out and capped out at the 50 attributes necessary. Uh, the 95 overall is just a screenshot I took using a different build. This is a center fielder slash starting pitcher, but I'm still in the early stages of Road to the Show, so I haven't even told the manager that I only want to pitch or I only want to hit or I do want to try a two-way ball player, but um, here are my pitch types. I am going with the sinker cutter, changeup, slurve, screwball combination. I think that that is pretty much the meta of this game. Good pitch mix, good velocity differential. I do want to say, though, that those uh, pitch velocities are not accurate, the ones you see on the screen. The pitcher that I am actually going to use throws an 82 to 84 mile per hour change up or something like that not a 71 um this would be more or less uh this was a hitter that i was showing you right there just to show you the base attributes in general all right but the base attributes are going to mainly be affected by these perks by these uh different loadouts that you can select i am still trying to figure out how i can use uh, the Pedro as a starting pitcher because it puts my creative player as a relief pitcher in my Diamond Dynasty squad when I have that Pedro build activated. I'm wondering if it's similar to what I talked about in my last video, right? If you go in and you activate a different player build focused on a specific position and then you actually select the loadout that you would want the attributes to accumulate from and you can use, you know, the hawk build at catcher for example that's what i did in the last video i'm thinking that i might be able to do the same thing right activate billy the kid or the professor get that starting pitcher in the rotation on diamond dynasty and then activate the pedro loadout but as you can see we were able to complete this choice pack i was at about 850,000 stubs after selling the reward i'm at 970 these cards are fluctuating a little bit, right? When you when I opened that pack, you could see that the sell now was under 100,000 stubs. Other people are also grinding these programs out. The prices will fluctuate. And honestly, I should have probably waited a little bit to sell the Grady size more. I would have made a little bit more stubs, but I'll take the stubs that I made. I mean, we're working on another 5,000 in the next few thousand XP. But uh, a lot of other rewards that I can still earn, right? Free packs, the live series diamond. But to me, this third inning program is essentially completed because anything I complete after the boss is just bonus. Um, I didn't get, you know, the first inning program all the way completed. But as you can see, right, I was able to earn back a million stubs, easily made 150, 200,000 stubs off of the perks and selling the third inning boss. I'm College Lefty, and hopefully I was able to help you out in some way. Peace out.